some worry or another. And I, I think it was having something to do with her father. Well, she brooded the day when Boyd's death, and the death of Leroy. She was hysterical at the time of the fire. I mean, that was, but that's completely understandable. And when it happened, how did you find her? Did you hear the shot, or...? Yes. Yes, we heard the shot, and then Henry and I ran down. She had, she had shot herself after giving Rhoda a deadly dose of sleeping pills. She obviously wanted them to die together. Could Christine, could she have been insane? No. No, we can rule that out. I had a series of conversations with her. She shuddered somewhat at my murder cases, but her, her comments were completely level-headed. No, Christine wasn't crazy. I don't know how I'll live. Yes. I don't know that I will. Yes, nothing helps. Nothing. It doesn't seem any good without Christine. The, the promotion and the army and the career. <laughs> it, it was Christine that kept me afloat, not any of that. She was a wonderful girl. And she left me! She crept away into the earth and I don't know why! Oh, I'm sorry. No, you cry if you like to. She was worth it. She didn't want to live. Have so much to be grateful for. If we hadn't heard the shot, you would have lost Rhoda too. Rhoda! Rhoda! Did you like it, Daddy? I played it just for you. <laughs> you know, there's still a little bit of Christine left. In your smile. I love you, Daddy. What will you give me for a basket full of kisses? For a basket full of kisses? Well, I'll give you a basket full of hugs.